Chandler's Restaurant is always whipping up delicious dish after delicious dish right here in our Mass Appeal kitchen and in their own. And today we're joined by official Mass Appeal chef Greg Manette from Chandler's Restaurant in South Deerfield for some more tasty treats. Thanks, Seth. Good to have you here. Yep. I gotta say, I enjoy these, especially this time of year when you just crave good food and yeah. family and moments. filling, filling food, yes. you know? Today's is wicked filling. Yeah, well, sorta. It, we're, we're, we're gonna make it filling. I'm gonna eat this whole thing to. and be full. <laughs> definitely, definitely. So what are we going with? It's well, I see scallops, I see prosciutto. Prosciutto, toasted almonds, we have garlic, we have leeks, fennel, uh, arugula, roasted tomatoes, a bunch of different herbs, uh, some uh, fresh uh, fettuccine, and we're Look just gonna finish this. it with a little bit of white wine and cream and salt, pepper, we're done. This is one of those things that seems pretty easy, but I'd probably go to Chandler's and get it. Yeah, well, you know, a lot of people don't want to go out and uh, pay for, uh, you know, like eight pounds of scallops, and especially these these monsters here. These are U10s, which basically means you'll get 10 scallops per the pound when you when you buy them. That's how you know? So, um, yep. do you like big scallops or little scallops? I like the care? big ones because uh, it's just the texture is nice. It's it's like, it's just a meaty, meaty texture. It's, it's just it's really nice. And it's and it's hard to overcook them too. Little ones you tend people tend to overcook. They get oh, rubbery. Oh, that's true. You know these you want to cook to about like a medium rare, medium. Someone told me once so they're just a little bit squishy when you push them. Exactly. They exactly. bounce back for you. Exactly. So we're rolling them in. Well, prosciutto. what I'm going to do, I slice this a little bit, a little bit thick, um, mainly because you know I want uh, I like I like chewing the prosciutto. It's it's nice. Yeah. And I don't want it to get too crispy. Um, when we finish the dish, really. So what I did, these are a couple examples. Basically laid out some thin strips of prosciutto. Mm -hmm. I grabbed some toasted almonds. Nice. I rolled those inside there, too. Uh, you can also roll the scallop first. Oh, okay. You know, uh, coat the almonds. Oh, this and looks uh, basically, we're just, we're just kind of rolling it up. Now, these are just slivered almonds that are toasted? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And then you're going to toast them a little bit more once we put them on the... Uh... Well, they'll they'll toast if they if you were to finish them in the oven, they'll toast. I think we can finish this dish, uh, pretty much in the pan. But um, but we we might just throw them in the oven. For you know what's nice about this too? I, I assume there's like a, a texture thing that's going on because you're eating a scallop, which is a little bit soft, but you get a little crunch from the almonds. Exactly, exactly. Now what I'm going to have you do is start really with uh, the pasta ingredients, and so we have a, a leek here. Okay. You can slice up thin, and uh, once once we sear off the uh, scallops, then basically toss them in the pan. Now, do you want the leeks to be like this, or do you want me to cut them once they get into That's this? Perfect. That's okay. perfect, because they'll fall apart once we start sauteing them. Now, now, to saute the scallops, though, I'm using actually clarified butter. And so what this is, I'll take it off the heat a little bit. Yeah, clarified butter, I hear cooks talking about it. I, I don't know what it is, though. Well, it's really just butter that you've, uh, you've thrown on the stove for a little bit. You've separated out the milk solids. So the milk solids drop to the bottom of the pan. Uh-huh. We might wind up with a little brown butter, but uh, that's all right. But that's so nice too. It's more of like an oily butter, then, right? Exactly. Because exactly. there's no, there's none of that cream that people come yep. to love in it's butter. It's used a lot in uh, Indian cooking. It's called uh, ghee, um, or ghee, ghee okay. or ghee, G H E E. However, you say potato, I say ghee. Right. And so what I'm doing is really just trying to get a little bit of color on this. Because you, you can eat. I mean, kids don't try this at home, but you can eat your scallops a little bit undercooked, right? Yes. Well, what we're shooting for, we want to cook them. Yeah, so we want to cook cooked. them to about medium rare or so. Uh, to a medium, so they're just they're just nice. Mm -hmm. And now again, like what we did a couple weeks ago with uh, the pork loin. Yeah. Um, you know, I deglaze the pan, so this is going to actually help. Now, Greg, I, I love this tip. You told me last week I haven't stopped doing it since. Yep. Can you do it constantly in the process? Like, yes. Like you're basting the pan almost? No, exactly, exactly, you okay. can. And do you need to, or is one enough? Uh, well, with scallops, just one shot's good. Okay. Because then you're getting most of the stuff off the pan. Now, what I'm going to do is just throw these on a platter. Okay. And we can throw these in the top oven, actually, for a few minutes. I'd love to. All right. Now, I'm going to add a little more oil to the pan, just a canola oil or an olive oil. Mm -hmm. We'll put it back on the heat. We'll throw all your leeks in. All right. We're going to throw in the fennel, too. When you're sauteing, uh, especially vegetables, you want to start with uh, the one that's going to take the longest to cook down. Since we already have roasted tomatoes, mm -hmm. oh, that's to, the fennel. We I just didn't want to look like an in. idiot. I didn't know which one the fennel was. You're, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. <laughs> you're good. I have a little bit of garlic and thyme here too, so I'm just going to toss this together a little bit. And that's fresh garlic and thyme too, and that's the way to go if it you is. can. It is. So we're just sauteing this up. Okay. You know, we're going to add the other ingredients in a minute. While that's going, because this only takes maybe about three minutes four minutes to cook. 
I'm just going to heat up a little bit of pre-cooked pasta. Okay. And so you're, oh, it's already cooked, but you're putting it back in the water to I am. rehydrate it? Yep, exactly. Oh. So with the other ingredients, we have some juice from the tomatoes as well. Good idea. These are just roasted with a little bit of garlic, a uh, little bit of rosemary and thyme, salt and pepper. Toss with a little bit of oil, throw it in the oven, low heat, and you wind up with like a, a nice juicy, almost uh, sun-dried tomato. It's like a chunky sauce too, I like yeah. that. So Greg, it's Christmas time, it's New Year's time at Chandler's. What's different? What do you love about this time of year over there? Well, I like I like the fact that we get Christmas off. That's that's always that nice. That is nice. Everybody gets Christmas off. Good. And uh, but after after that, we do uh, actually a huge uh, New Year's um, with live music. Uh, but most importantly, we do a kids' New Year's. So it's really a countdown to uh, to noon. Mm -hmm. And so uh, you know, a bunch of kids come in and they they participate in the celebration. Of course, uh, the non-alcoholic, non-alcoholic drinks. Oh, of course. But and, I assume uh, the adults can partake in a little bit oh, of the alcoholic drinks. Definitely, definitely. And then we have a big crowd come in for the evening. Mm -hmm. uh, live music again. Uh, we we're open like a little bit earlier uh, that evening, and uh, really so people can get get home safely at the end of Good. the night. That's true. I know you don't want to take too much advantage of that incredible wine cellar that yep. you have. Well, here, you know, we basically have most of our ingredients. We don't want to cook them down too much. Mm -hmm. We can shred some uh, some herbs in there. I'm gonna toss some. Uh, now, when you say shred, is that the thing where I kind of claw well, you want, them, or do just I cut take them? like one stalk at a time? Okay. Then use your use your fingers, pull down the stalk, and you'll get a whole bunch of fresh parsley. I there. can do this. There you go. I'll throw in the arugula. I'm gonna throw in the pasta now too, actually. You know, a lot of people always go for the dried herbs, but you can have indoor herb gardens in the winter time. Oh no, definitely right in your kitchen window. You know. Exactly. Yeah. That's that's what my my wife Kristen and I do. So. And you have a, a new a new boy, right? We do. A new addition to the family. Samuel, yep. Congratulations, oh, by the way. Thank no. you very much. He's doing great. It'll, this will be his first Christmas. Great. That's that's a memorable time for a parent, I think. Kids, oh, one? I don't know if they'll remember. You know, one thing nice about this dish is you can just stop here, add some salt and pepper, throw your scallops in. Ooh, or? A little bit of parsley. I mean, a little bit of uh, that uh, heavy, cream? heavy cream. And you're just kind of letting that... that because we only added like a quarter cup there, yeah. it just coats all the noodles, it thickens up a little bit, you can shave some Parmesan in there. At this point, basically we'll take the scallops out, because okay. they're probably done. Grab those. It's a great looking dish, great time of year at Chandler's. I love this time of year. And we'll just put it right there. All right. And this way. Just plate it up. All of our scallops are, are done. See, these are, you can feel it still a little, a little soft in the you middle. Want a little bit of bounce back. Yep. That's what you're looking for. But it's really, it's to people's preference. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever they want to do. And with, uh, you know, entertaining and stuff, especially if you have a buffet in, around the holidays, mm -hmm. you know, you can make little mounds of pasta that people can just grab individually. That's smart because, yeah, the, the tough part about a buffet is grabbing pasta because you look like a chubby bunny because you're grabbing so much of it and you don't mean to. Exactly. exactly. Well, Greg, this looks amazing. I can't wait to dig in. I want to thank Thanks, you Seth. for coming to being our official master oh, no, chef. I, I appreciate it. It's been a good year. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a great year and next year. And if you've never dined at Chandler's, you are missing out. So you've seen some of their menu items on our show, but if you head to South Deerfield to check them out, you're going to be amazed. Be sure to like their Facebook page. Just search for Chandler's Restaurant and check out the page for the latest up-to-date information. Chandler's, by the way, is located at 25 Greenfield Road in South Deerfield, just a short drive. Take exit 24 off of I-91 North and you can call them 413-665-1277 to make your reservation today.